Hello, welcome to a new video. This is Jota from 3DMA and today we are taking a look at how I did the UV mapping for this Mac 10 model I was working on. If you want, you can also take a look at the first part of this where we worked on the high poly model. But unlike that video, I want to do some more commenting on this so you guys can take a look at my thought process behind of all of this um, UV mapping. But also I wanted to keep this video shorter so it doesn't take so long. So as you might have already noticed, I didn't include how I did the low poly for this, as I thought it was a bit boring. But essentially, I duplicated the high poly model, removed all the modifiers I no longer needed, like the remesher and the smooth corrective, then applied the booleans that I wanted to keep on the low poly and removed the ones that I didn't need and will be baked on uh, later on in the baking process. After that, it was just a matter of removing um, polys that I didn't need, optimizing and cleaning up the topology to get the final uh, game ready model. So for the UV unwrapping, you might already saw what I'm doing here. It's very basic and quick, but effective. If you select by sharp edges, adjust the angle you want and then make a seam there, that will give you a, a good starting point. Then it's just a matter of applying some more cuts where needed and packing everything together. I also tried keeping everything straight so there's no distortion and we can have a, a better experience when texturing so our straight lines are actually straight and not circular. For this model I decided to go with two different texture sets in 4K resolution as I thought whoever is going to buy this asset might not want to use the big laser and suppressor. So this way we can maximize the resolution and also if needed you can always upgrade the resolution to 2K. For plugins I'm using textures for the awesome tech map as well as flipping some islands around. I'm also using UV squares for straining in the shapes that I need to and of course UV Pack Master 3 for packing everything together and having those nice layouts where all my um, textile density is well optimized.
So this is our final result. You can see how we've got really good texture density. There's barely no distortion. And some of the internal faces, we've made them a bit smaller, the islands. Uh, so we could have more space for the more visible pods. After this, it's just a matter of double checking. Everything is correct. There's no mistakes. And then renaming all the parts correctly so we can start doing our first test bakes. If you like this video and want to see the last part where we textured uh, the same model using Substance Painter and then rendering it in Marmoset, please let me know in the comments and have a fantastic day and see you in the next one. Bye bye.